a song about relationship. John 15, um, Jesus is the vine, we are the branches, God is the gardener. I've struggled so much with, I'm Christian, but it seems like I, I can't, um, I don't have fruits of the spirit. I don't, I don't produce patience. I am not kind enough. I am not filled with goodness, but I'm Christian. How can I, you know, I feel like I'm not a full Christian until I realize that all I really need to do is to abide in Him. That song says, So abiding in God helps me to bear fruit. So outside of Jesus, I cannot bear that fruit. So Mvini basically just sums up how you can bear fruit, how you can um, really show that you're a child of God is not through your own strength and trying to show that yes I'm kind, yes I'm a good person just abide in God, in Jesus as He's the vine and Jesus Himself will flow, will then flow out of you um, so that is what Mvini really is and means to me Mvini um, for me is one of my favorite songs on the Seasons album and for one reason it's really because at the end of the day at the end of it all when we've all breathed our last breath when I've breathed my last breath it's really about Lesekho did you abide in the vine? Lesekho were you connected with God? Um, you know the scripture says you know some of you guys you prophesy in my name you say, Lord, Lord, you know, you, you perform miracles in my name, but I do not know you. Away from me, you evildoers. And when I think about Nvini, more than, you know, abiding in him and him abiding in me, I really think about the fact that that is the true calling of the believer. That is my true calling. And I think every time I sing Nvini, it's a reminder to myself that apart from God, I can do nothing. It's a reminder to me that I can pursue many things. I can pursue my own fame, my own kingdom, my own you know, greatness. But at the end of the day, if I'm not abiding, if I'm not connected, if I'm not one with God, if I'm not one with the vine, I can't bear any fruit. Without me, you can do nothing, he says. And so for me, Vini is, is profound because it's a reminder to myself. It's a reminder to my heart to say, after all is said and done, did you abide? After all is said and done, does God know you? You see, when, when I often write, I write a lot of words. And uh, I've gone to the space of writing a lot of words in, in a lot of songs. and. Uh, and uh, so I, I was going to a place where I was just like, God, I just want something simple. You know, I just want something, something simple. Help me write a, a simple song um, that enables us to meditate on a truth. Uh, I mean, you, you get songs like, uh, like Alpha and Omega. It's just such a simple song, but it's a powerful truth. It's a powerful melody. Everything about it is just, the song is, is great as is. And, um, and I remember reading, so I read, I read the Bible in both English and Izzul. And, uh, and I remember reading, coming across John 15, and, and uh, that, just that phrase of uh, Jesus saying, Gingumbini, oh, one now one. And I was like, man, I've never heard this, this before. You know, I've never heard anyone talking about it or preaching about it in church using that, those particular um, phrases. And, um, and right then and there, I was like, man, you know, there's a song here and, uh, and began, I guess, the, the, the journey of, of writing that song and, and wanting it just to be simply about abiding, uh, about simply about resting in God and that being enough. And, 
And you know, when you, when you read about Jesus speaking about, about that particular scripture, you know, he says, you know, unless you abide in me, you cannot bear fruit. And, uh, and just that simple truth that we sometimes think we can do all sorts of things on our own and our own strength. Uh, but Jesus says, listen, unless, you know, we're abiding in him, you know, what we're doing, what we get up to is, is pretty much useless. And, uh, and so that song for me, because it just speaks about that message of just saying, you know, we'll stay in you, we'll rest in you, we'll hide ourselves in you because you are the true vine. And to get to sing it in is Izzul. And, uh, and, to, and for people to learn a new phrase, Gezulu, that comes from scripture, has been amazing. And people have heard that song and be like, what language is this? Is this like Swahili? Is this, uh, you know, uh, Luganda or whatever it may be, another language? And then for them to find out that it's actually, you know, is Zulu and just seeing people kind of light up with that um, has been has been really special. So.